Hey guys, I'm up in the Franklins. Just got done doing my little tracking practice. Made a video, another video about a ration uh, for the US first strike ration, the 24 hour ration. Made that video. Um, and before I left, I brought my AK out today because I also wanted to make a video on an interesting product I recently picked up from Brownells. And I kind of wanted to go over it and pretend the potential applications and so on and so forth. So that's that's what this video is about. But first, the gear and the ammunition used in today's video are from Brownells. Use code BOP10 for 10% off your next order of uh, firearm accessories, firearms, ammunition, etc. Um, tell them Bush Plaid sent you. All right. So, the gear, the item I wanted to talk about in this video, it's kind of like a product review, is of the Schmeiser. Now, I know this has been out for a while, a couple years now. I feel like it didn't necessarily get enough ten attention, maybe because the majority of people don't think it, there's any real applications. Maybe it just kind of went under, kind of got swept under the rug. But it is the... Schmeiser 60 round quad stack AK mag from Schmeiser, Germany. Um, I picked it up from Brownells not too long ago when I got a, a care, not care package, a package full of Kalashnikov related things as well as 762 by 39, which I was lucky to get when they had it in stock. Um, <coughs> so I've put I'm gonna count the boxes because I have put nine boxes of ammo through this, which is 180 rounds. Now I haven't loaded it fully. 180 rounds, it's loading it twice all the way, which I haven't loaded it fully because but every single time I've shot it, because I'm more want to see how it functions feeding, the feed lips, the, the magazine itself when you insert it. In, in the Yugo, it's not too tight. Um, you know, just playing around with it. Also, 762 by 39 is harder to come by even though I got some from Brownells. I was using brass and some of the steel I had. And 60 rounds is a lot of rounds in one magazine before you have to reload. That's that's one of the caveats in today's video talking about this, this item is, I think it does have a lot of niche uses depending on what you're doing uh, also your group running AKs 762 AKs in particular and being and being able to utilize this in a small unit role it it has a lot of niche applications um, so pros cons let's do cons first because there are a couple cons weight and uh, the ability to load after about 30 40 rounds it gets hard I'm able to do it with my hands I don't need to use a loader or anything it just it, it's time consuming to load um, the weight it's about two and a half two and a half ish pounds loaded maybe a little less than that and the other one of the other cons I have an under folder you go stock is folded magazine and there we go inserted cannot unfold my stock unfolded magazine in cannot fold the stock side folders do just fine um, it, it may depending on how big your stock is on the side folder because it kind of pokes out on either side of the receiver not a lot, not pokes, it's just wider, obviously, than the receiver. Um, those are the cons. Pros, I do like, the, there's a reason why, like, Surefire came up with the 60 round and the 100 round, specifically when the Marine Corps was developing the M27, the IAR, which they used to replace the saw. They wanted to have the capability of having more than a 30 round magazine or some of those aftermarket 45 rounds before the IAR had to reload. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that um, in your role, right, that you're utilizing it in your group. 
you don't have to have a, uh, what do they call it, American PKM or um, RPK, the, that whole, you know, uh, quasi RPK. To be able to utilize it, I have it on my under folder. It, it is hefty, but say you are the point man for your group, your unit, whatever, your, your team that you're practicing with, and you're the point man and you take contact, you can effectively suppress the enemy longer with that 60 rounds, two magazines before you have to reload and give your unit enough time to get online and help suppress the target with you or be able to maneuver against the, against the target. Now they make one, they make a 60 round, a Schmeiser makes a 60 round AR mag, same exact makeup, just an AR mag, right? So the Schmeiser makes that. Um, so you can you can get one for either one of your groups. I got it for the AK because I thought it was It's cool. It's bigger than those 45 round Bakelite RPK mags. It's smaller than the 75 round metal drums It's it's hefty But if you're moving if you're moving with it if you're just patrolling moving through an area with it and you're You know at the ready you're moving through being able to have those 60 rounds right there to rock and roll I mean it, it I I think it's a plus now not every group is gonna have somebody that might be a point man that might want something like this and maybe a smaller group now that's another niche thing is if you're working in small groups it would forgive me for saying behoove potentially your group AR or AK to have at least one or two of the people in the group with a higher capacity magazine. Um, that if there is contact taken, that they're still firing while the other two are reloading or maneuvering. If that does that make sense? That makes sense because that's that's what a fucking like an IAR or an RPK is used for is target suppression while the unit um, maneuvers around while the unit maneuvers around the enemy element. That's what they were there for. Squad automatic. For the squad to be able to suppress the target while the squad, the rest of the, you know, you know what I mean. The one person in the squad suppress the target while the rest of the squad moves around and eliminates the enemy, takes the objective, blah, blah, blah. So those are the pros to it. I, the, the cons, the cons don't outweigh the pros. It just has to fit your, your usage and your group's usage. That's really all it comes down to. Like if it works for your group, it works for your group or you individually, like, do you feel like carrying, adding an extra two plus pounds to your rifle on top of whatever other bullshit, you know, update, whatever other bullshit you have added to your rifle? Um, but does it, you know, does it work for your implementation? Um, but yeah, I, I think it's, I think it's a good product. It was like 65 bucks, a buck, it's a buck around. I roughly, you know, it's, it's not terribly expensive compared to fucking the drums the 75 round metal drums which you got a key and all do all that bullshit i think it's a pretty good in between for you know smaller 20 rounders or 30 rounders and then the next biggest thing is a fucking drum for an ak or you know if you have 545 which they don't make this in 545 but you know we're talking ak's if you have 545 i think do they make the do they make 45 round 762 bake lights? I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote. Don't quote me on that. Um, all right. So there you go. Pros, cons. Little quick product review. I think I'm not. It's Apache. They've been busy these last couple of days. So yeah, so pros, cons, it's niche, but you, I, I think a lot of groups could find usage, especially the 60 round ones for the ARs. I think um, a lot of groups could find usage for them. So, all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video.
you guys have a great afternoon.